on the Wayne's World, but five, four. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to Hide Music Live this week. Uh, my special guest is John Lasia. Hello there. Uh, he's from Greenville Middle School and he is going to tell you all about the trombone and some fun things that you can do this summer with it. So everyone, okay. John Lasia. Well, thank you very much. So uh, I just want to start off and say awesome that you picked the trombone. That's like, I love this instrument a ton. It actually isn't my first instrument that I ever played, but I really enjoy teaching it because uh, it makes a lot of sense to me. And it's a ton of fun. You get a whole slide thing going on. Um, first thing we're going to do, if you've been playing for a couple months, hopefully you know your slide positions. We'll go over them just a little bit um, just to make sure that we, we really know where, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven are. And then you pop off your trombone slide just like that. Uh, <laughs> anyways, the first thing we're going to do, this is the best exercise in the history of the world for brass players, okay? You can do this just on your mouthpiece if you want. Right now, I want to do it on everything because it's just a little bit more fun. This is called lip slurs. If you're a brass player, you will do lip slurs. Lip slurs are basically going to the gym for brass instruments, okay? Here's all it is. I'll demonstrate it, and you're going to figure it out, okay? So I'm going to start on a high F, and then I'm going to go down to a B flat. And I'm going to try to slur that note in between and just bend it all the way down. And you'll hear that, okay? I'll do that again. So I'm going F to B flat. Notice, I'm not moving my slide at all, okay? All I'm doing is going back and forth between those notes. And actually, you could try doing that. The better you are at going back and forth between those two notes, the easier a lot of this stuff gets, okay? Now, to make it a pattern, and this is like, I will tell you this a lot. This is like going to the gym for trombone, okay? Except for, it's for your lips. What we're going to do is we're going to start F to B flat. And then we're going to change from first position to second position. That's about halfway in between the, the bell there. or just a little bit further out than first position, you know, all the way in. And we're going to do that same thing. It's going to sound a little bit lower. And then we're going to go third position to third position. Fourth position to fourth position, fifth position to fifth position, and it, it kind of follows the same pattern. Listen, and then we're going to play it together, okay? So here's just me playing it. Six, seventh position. If you are not tall and lanky like I am, and you cannot reach seventh position, if your sixth position is the furthest that your arm can go out, that is okay. You do not have to get to seventh position. But I do want to tell you that low note in seventh position is actually the lowest note you can play on your trombone if your trombone looks like this. If you have an extra thing on your trombone, don't worry about it. You'll probably learn about that later, okay? That's like later on, slow down a little bit. But all the way down to seventh, that's the lowest note you can play, which is pretty cool. So try playing this with me. I'm going to go one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. Got it? Two, ready, and. <laughs> yourself yeah that's pretty easy guess what when you go to the gym and you're lifting weights and it's really 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 easy what do you do you go and you get heavier weights right we're gonna do that same thing on trombone we're gonna make it a little bit more difficult so instead of just going bah, and sliding down we're now gonna just add more to it what I'm gonna do here start on low B flat one F B flat so we go B flat, F, B flat, and we do that same thing. One, 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 two, 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 three, 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 four, four, four. You see in these patterns here? 
That's what I love about trombone. It's all about these patterns. It's awesome. Okay. Try to play along with me. I think you, you, you might understand it. So take it slow. We're going to go B flat, F, B flat. more we're stretching out our lips low to high to low to high to low to high the stronger your lips are going to get and the way better trombone player you're going to be seriously you're going to be just playing everything basically i know the slide positions aren't the hard part with this because we're just staying in the same position but we're meant to work out our lips i got one more of these lip slur exercises for you and this is this is definitely the top tier if you're able to do this awesome if you're able to do this super easily you can probably figure out the next step yourself okay we're going to go Low B flat, one, to F, one, to high B flat, still one. All the way back down, F, B flat. So B flat, F, B flat, F, B flat. All bending the notes in between. <laughs> Two, 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 three, 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 and so on, right? Let's play along. Two, ready, and. students this because I truly believe it and I know it's true okay if you're able to do that and if you do that every single time you play the trombone you're going to be a great trombone player because your lips are going to get so much stronger and everything else is going to get super easy you're not going to have problems of I can't hit this note it's too hard to hit this note I'm whiny blah 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 no you work out the trombone you're going to be good at that okay all these lip slur patterns start easy just going one to one two to two Make it harder, make it harder, make it more difficult. It's just like lifting weights, okay? Let's switch pages a little bit. I know we don't actually have books or pages or at all. You know, physically switch the page. Yeah, Matt just tore off a page or something. Thanks, Matt. Um, <laughs> what we're going to do now, take something what we already know. Hopefully, you already know your B-flat scale. If you don't remember your B-flat scale, here it is. B-flat, C, D, E-flat, F, G, A, B flat. I had to think about that. It's only been like a month since I did that. Wow. Let's play it. <laughs> We're going to go up the scale and then back down the scale. Okay. Trombone locks. I'll teach you that in a little bit. <laughs> I'm just falling apart here. That's fine. B flat scale. One, two, ready, and... Okay, we know our B-flat scale. Let's do it again just to make sure we absolutely know it. If you don't know your B-flat scale, work on that. You're going to need to play that every day of the rest of your life, okay? said it before trombone and brass instruments are all about patterns and here is one of my favorite patterns to do with that scale because you might be thinking ah, i don't know scale's easy it's boring cool let's make it more fun you're going to be playing scales the rest of your life so let's make those scales a little bit more fun 
This is what uh, my BAM teacher called the thinking exercise. And it, it does make you think. So what we're gonna do, follows a pattern here. We're gonna go one, rest, rest, rest. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And by the way, we are not doing the positions like that. This is, I'm talking about, this is the first note of the B flat scale, second note of the B flat scale, third note of the B flat scale, fourth note, you know, as we go up like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to play through it, listen to it if you're confused. A lot of people just, you, you catch on once you hear it, okay? Two, ready, and rest, rest, rest. Now, that is halfway through. That's all I want to focus on right now. It's halfway through. We won't focus on the second half. It's really similar. When you're doing this, the thing I find that it makes a really good trombone player is you need to act like a robot. I literally mean that, like a robot. If you are going with your trombone and you're like, uh, you're really slow with your slide and you're not super accurate, like you're not like, this is third position, this is sixth position, this is fourth, this is second, you need to start doing that. You are a robot playing the trombone. When you go to a position, make it accurate and make it a quick switch. Otherwise, your scale starts to sound like this. Garbage. <laughs> okay. I don't want any of you guys sounding like garbage. I want you sounding like robots with the trombone, basically. Get to those slide positions quick. Be accurate. Be precise. When I'm doing this, two, three, four. as possible every other instrument is really easy with this all you have to do is press down a key okay there's no way that you mess that up you're not going to be like oh i pressed it down halfway no okay trombone is the only one where like if you're not absolutely correct you're wrong just it's the way how it is so you need to be that robot and move that side position insanely quick let's do that scale up the the thinking exercise as i like to call it okay one two ready and now like i said we made it to halfway kind of getting the hang of it Halfway point, we do the same exact thing, but we go down. So we're always starting on that eighth note, that high B flat. B flat. B flat A. B flat A, G. B flat A, G, F, and so on. We do the same thing all the way down to the low note. Let's start on the halfway point on that high B flat, okay? Sounds like this. Tighten up those lips, okay? One, two, ready, and. And that's the second half of it. We're going to do the whole thing. We're going to go a little bit slower because I realize it might be a little fast for you. So let's slow it down and then we'll do it one more time through fast the same way I was just doing, okay? One, two, starting from the bottom. One and two and ready, go. Thank you.
feel like I'm getting a workout today. I just move my arms a whole bunch. I move my lips a whole bunch. Okay. Ready to learn a song? Because I'm ready to learn a song. Okay. What I just showed you is some amazing, amazing exercises. If you want to be an amazing trombone player, which chances are right now you do and good because you should be an amazing trombone player, do those things and you'll be great. Honestly, if you're an accurate person, if you play this thing like a robot and you practice those lip slurs, trombone's easy until you get to the harder stuff, obviously. This is a fun song. Chances are you probably heard it. It's like a meme. It's it's everywhere. Um, I play it a little differently than how it originally is, but I think it's a little bit easier that way, okay? It goes like this. I'll teach it to you. Let me play it for you first. That way you can hear how it goes, okay? Now somebody needs to get the oven door and slam it, you know? The Do we have access to an oven? No. Can you bring it? Oh. Oven. Yeah, it's, it's like an oven in here, so somebody can just slam the door open, I guess. Either way, let me teach you this song. It starts off really, really nicely. If you practice your lip slurs, the start of this song is just a big lip slur. One, 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 B flat, F, B flat. That's the first three notes. B flat, F, B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat. Bum, 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 bum. Try playing that. I'm not gonna sit here while you play it though. Play along with me. One, two, ready? And let's do it again. Two, ready? And one more time. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. We have two other positions that we're using here. We're using fifth position, which is a little weird to use, okay? We're not used to playing fifth position a whole lot. And fourth position, which is totally fine, okay? So, fifth position. Easiest way for me to describe fifth position. Go to sixth position, bring it in a little bit. Now, is it more accurate than that? Yes, it is. If you wanna be the most precise person in the world, bring it in a little bit, but also about halfway in between your fourth position and your sixth position. Which makes sense because, you know, four and six, there's a five in between. You know, trombone just makes sense. It's crazy. Fifth position and fourth position. Let me hear you do this. Just like Jaws. Play along with me. Ready? You can kind of see where my trombone slide is. I'm going five, four. Awesome. Do you know this whole song is only three different positions and you just played them all? Yeah, it's actually pretty easy of a song, but it sounds awesome. Cool. Let's go back to that first part. Do it again. Two. me right i changed notes there on four but that means you just change your lips you keep your your slide in that same position five four 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 five yeah. in this scenario. Five, four, 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 five. Let me do that again. Okay, play that one more time. Five, four, 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 five. Now, let's add 
that to the first part. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 five, four, 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 five. that we have left is five four five four five one well, that was confusing let me do that again five four five four five one One, 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 five, four, five, four, five, one. So we kind of do that same first part twice, and then we repeat the other parts. Let me play the whole thing slowly. Maybe you can get it in your ear, and then we're going to play it together, okay? <laughs> especially because we don't have music in front of us. That's kind of the hard thing about doing all this live stream stuff is I can't just, boom, here's the music in front of you. That'd be really nice. But I wanted to play the song. I think it's really cool. I think that you can also learn it without music. I am a huge fan of actually learning stuff without music. It makes you just know it better too. Let's try it again. One, two, ready, and go. <laughs> first time that is totally cool you just do it over and over and over again Rewatch it best part about this whole live stream thing if you didn't catch something that i did go back be like uh what what was that again what positions are these i don't know where did the positions go go back rewind it play it again listen to me play it do it over again what did i go over today it's always important to go wait what what did i learn i've totally forgot everything i learned First thing you do, anytime you warm up, okay? Chances are you're gonna be doing your B flat scale first thing you do. But if you really wanna get really super good, do those lip slurs. That's the. <laughs> Bending your lips in between the same positions. That's a great way to work out these lips. And the stronger you get these lips, the easier everything else gets, okay? Second thing, the thinking exercise with the B flat scale. Okay, that's the. Make sure you're playing that like a robot, okay? The quicker that you're moving your slide position and the more accurate you are, the way better your trombone will sound and the better you'll look at trombone, okay? I teach all of this to my fifth grader starting trombone, okay? If you look down the line on a trombone section, it's super easy to tell the ones that stand out because they're moving their slide kind of randomly and they don't really know what they're doing. 
it's hard to tell when a trumpet like you look down at all the trumpets and they're all moving their fingers it's hard to just tell like oh that person's the wrong one okay it is so easy to tell when you're supposed to play a c and every all six of the trombone players are playing a c except for the seventh one is like here it's easy to tell which one is doing the wrong one so you need to make sure that you're playing your position super accurately and you're getting there fast enough when you need to okay no laziness when it comes to trombone. Last thing I taught you was that awesome song. I don't even know the name of that song. Do you know the name of that? I think it's like a hockey song originally. I have so many kids come up to me and ask what, how to play that song. And luckily, it's actually pretty easy. I do want to let you know the original, if you watch the video, the guy has his trombone slide all the way out here. And that's because he starts it in seventh position. It's really difficult to play that low and that accurately, and chances are your arms are not long enough to play in seventh position that well. So don't worry about playing it the same way that the video does. Play it the way that I taught you. You'll be totally fine. Other things about the trombone, have fun with it. Okay, you play an awesome instrument. I didn't t tell you anything about glissandos today. That's the. That's super easy to figure out. You play an instrument where what you see is what you get. You move this thing, it goes the way that you think it will. Okay, have fun with the trombone. If you want to do jazz improvising and just make up your own stuff, go for it. Have fun. Mess around. Make music. Do your own thing. I guess I'll leave you with this. This is super easy. One, two, three, four positions. That's it. First position, second position, third position, fourth position. This is called the sand trombone. You ready? <laughs> to make it sound super good on that fourth position, just wiggle it around a whole bunch. Not like crazy amount, but just back and forth. <laughs> Now what you need to do is just anytime your parents screw up something, you like you're behind them and you go. They'll definitely love that. I know that for a fact. Okay. So do your lip slurs, do your scale technique stuff. Make sure you're a robot. Play that awesome song. Mess around and make your parents sad that you know the sad trombone thing. <laughs> <laughs> John Leja, everyone. Uh, join us every Tuesday and Thursday at 1 o'clock uh, throughout the summer. And John will actually be back. You're going to be back next. Yeah, I'll be back next week. I won't next be playing week, this yeah. thing, but I'll be playing some other things. Yep, we're going to do some things. percussion lessons. Yeah. So. All right. Thanks, John. You yep, guys have a good you. week. We'll see you next Tuesday and Thursday. Woo!